Good morning, everyone. Starting another one today. It's actually Friday. We are in Lava Hot Springs, Idaho, which hopefully we'll get to try that out. But we're doing another grand design. This is the new uh, with the white uh, uh, white sides instead of the, the cream yellow color, and it is a 290 B. On this one, we'll be putting four of the 325 watt solar panels, four 100 amp hour batteries, a 3000 watt MultiPlus, a 150 slash 100 MPPT, and a 712, uh, the BMV 712 battery monitor. So, anyhow, I'm gonna go up on the roof and uh, do some measuring, get some stuff going. Hello, we're on day two working on the 290BH. Yesterday, uh, I've got all of the solar harness ready. Um, we don't have the panels here yet, so um, couldn't go ahead and completely wrap up with that. But in the basement, I figured I'd go ahead and show you this with everything kind of disassembled. So I got the solar lines coming in which took me the better part of four hours. It was, that was rough. I had to crack the wall open, unfortunately. Um, I'll show you that later. But um, they did have a piece of wood right here. You can see the screw holes right here, right there, that they, they, they brought it out and then they put the wall in and it angled over towards the the wet bay. So what I'm gonna do is put a L-channel aluminum here and then go ahead and go all the way to this wall. They opted to have the batteries um, put under the bed because they want it easier to be able to expand. So that's, um, that's one thing. And then, um, which means that I didn't have to do a whole bunch over there, even though I am going to go ahead and take the wall down from here all the way down and then square it off. So I will move the water pump over a little bit and um, neaten up some of that uh, plumbing a little bit and a lot of the cable lines as well. I'll uh, do some wire management on all that stuff. Uh, nothing to the extent of trying to squeeze batteries um, back in those cubby holes. Um, so this this will turn out nice after the fact. Uh, multi plus is probably gonna sit on that wall back there. Maybe in here. I don't know if I can squeeze it in. I don't know if I have enough height and uh, enough breathing space for it. Um, more than likely, it's gonna go back over around the corner there on the wall. So since the batteries are gonna be under the bed, which is over this way, we're gonna have to uh, come under and then come across the uh, roof with the batteries, uh, the, the main battery lines. And then I'm still gonna do the shutoffs and everything right here at the door. Uh, I'll also upgrade his lighting and put a you know a little light switch back up here, right inside the door, uh, so that everything is really well lit whenever uh, he needs to get into his bay. And then, Let's see, what else are we doing? Uh, I've got to do the, run the 712, and we're also adding a Progressive Industries HW50C, which is the one with the remote. Uh, run that wire as well. And, but today, today I've been doing a lot of prep work outside, almost three hours worth. And um, I've already made a few things. So I've already got uh, battery cables for six. Uh, he's only getting four, but I went ahead and made everything up for six so that all he has to do is drop them in and bolt them in. And then uh, over here, yes, it's freaking hot, so I had to uh, get the tent out to stay cool. And then I already have the battery strap rail. dry camper colors, alternating, and 
think I'm ready to go install it all. So once I get it all installed, then I'll pull the battery lines from under the bed over into where uh, they're going to connect into all the shutoffs and fuses. And once that's done, probably be near the end of the day, um, tomorrow morning we'll take all power off the coach and hook up the MultiPlus because all the wiring will be right there ready to go. So, got a new catchphrase. Thought of it a while back, but I've forgotten about it and uh, just resurfaced. So, space makes it better. Okay, so we are in the bedroom under the bed and we are lining things up. Got my uh, rail in and getting ready to screw everything down. So, this is 42 inches because the batteries are six and seven eighths wide so I just made it 42 and there is a little bit of spare there so right here is where I'm going to do a small hole and then uh, we'll send the batteries down um, this um, whole bed area sits on top of the curve that comes out to the kingpin from the the front where it comes up and then it curves like this right at the top of that curve is right where this is so um, I should be not an easy fish but um, should be pretty okay hopefully not as bad as yesterday with uh, trying to get the wiring down from the um, roof to the basement for the solar so we're going to get this part all set up and then I said I was going to show you guys the, uh, the wall. So this is where I, I'd only peeled the bottom part of it open so that I could look in behind, look in behind here because the wiring comes down right here and a lot of models what they do is they remove the toilet and I just a whole lot of trouble and there's also a medicine cabinet in this one I would have had to have taken that off the wall as well so yes it was four hours no I don't have to put a lot of stuff back and put their camper out of commission for a full day while I'm trying to get the wires down and also get all the wiring run for the 712 and they're also getting a progressive industries uh, HW 50c with a little remote and um, that wiring has to be ran as well. I did not run that yesterday. So, anyhow, I'm going to flip you guys over to time lapse and uh, let you come along with me on this install. So, wrapping up day two, we have. I did the build out for two extra batteries. So the line is still connected, they just have to set the batteries in place and then unwrap all the tape, put the uh, terminal on, put the wire on the terminal for the next two batteries and then uh, obviously this is going to be secured. They're just kind of hanging out right now, but we have four batteries in place locked down. very tight and ready for the next two or I've already got the straps ready so and then we are fused so that something happens check the fuse and then uh, next will be all the electronics in the basement I gotta go tie up the rest of the uh, these power cables uh, get them all strapped all the way across to where they're gonna be to get into the multi-plus and then uh, oh shut offs first then multi-plus and then uh, set the multi-plus in place and get the tie-ins there made so yeah see you tomorrow we have a wall going with uh, finished wood this time I think it looks pretty darn good uh, over carpet um, but trying to align all of the components so that I can make the holes and go ahead and mount and wire everything and then when I put the wall in place all you have to do is bring in the incoming battery wire 
and then incoming and outgoing solar, and then the incoming uh, coach power, which is seems to be shutting off the multi plus. Power has to go through here first, shutting off the RV, uh, the coach power, and then this will tie to that, and then this will be shutting off the solar panels coming in from the roof. So I think that's how I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to make sure that I can get everything lined up and short enough so that it is aesthetic. So let's just see how this turns out.